Hey y'all, uh, this video is going to be on uh, Nautilus Actions. Uh, Nautilus is the default file manager that you get with uh, GNOME. Uh, so basically files or file manager or Nautilus. So uh, Nautilus Actions, uh, I have it set up and to right click to do certain things. Um, backup, bulk rename, I'll open a folder as root, reboot. Uh, settings and sync the uh, mirror list so far. So if I click, right click and then hit settings, I can go right to here. I also have the desktop set up through uh, Tweak Tool to just have desktop icons on and I just unselect the icons. I don't like to have icons necessarily, but uh, to have this right click functionality on the desktop, you have to have the desktop. Uh, Nautilus handling the desktop differently. Okay, so this is a Nautilus Actions configuration tool. Uh, you can get it uh, through your favorite distribution. I'm using Arch Linux in this case, so it would be sudo pacman dash capital S um, Nautilus dash actions, no capitals. And this is the basic interface. It is a little, uh, I don't want to say buggy. Yeah, it is a little buggy in some cases, but. Uh, it does uh, get the job done. Um, you can order things in uh, alphabetical order or you can set things up manually. So I just left it in alphabetical order as you see here. Now the underlines are the amp or called ampersands. So like if I right click back up, sorry, it has an underscore or under the U and you, that's, you see a so on. But the main idea is uh, to have all these ticked okay all these boxes checked and the command is just a, a script that I made and to get things to run in terminal for example sync sudo pacman dash syy now you go to the preferences and under runtime execution you have to have something like this I'll put this in the description GNOME dash terminal if that's what you're using and then uh, these switches and then the word command all in capital letters and it will work so minimize this and right click and select sync it'll open the terminal and I'll sync the uh, mirror list in uh, Arch Linux or uh, Pac-Man uh, now as I said most of the, the, the uh, things you'd want to do are in this section however uh, under execution as we mentioned, uh, the sync, if you click execution, you want that in a terminal, for example. But I have bulk, uh, backup sorry, as display output. So if I right click Nautilus Actions Backup, it will display a dialog. So let's step through and uh, make one uh, to uh, check for updates. So you just click this sign here to find a new action or uh, a new action, a new menu, or, or whatever. So, just a new action. And as I mentioned, you have to tick these. You don't have to, but it's good. It's best to do that. And the label, um, you can call any, anything you want, like uh, update and the command. Uh, you can, the label is anything you want. Like, it won't show up, but it's just a, a reminder Pac Man update or whatever. Yeah, if I can spell it right, yeah, update, and then the path would be uh, sudo, and then it's, uh, either way it'll default. You can put the whole thing in the path, and then it will go back to this. So sudo pacman dash s y u execution. Uh, you want that in a terminal, okay, and. There are icons here, um, but that's the only time you're going to see them. But if you want to set one, you just click Browse, something like an up arrow, update, press OK, um, press Apply, sorry, then OK, and then uh, Control S to save or just File Save, which is already saved. So that's grayed out. Close Nautilus Actions, and I would strongly suggest this, uh, open a terminal and just type in depending on your environment um, but in my case it would be uh, kill all 
and then a space Nautilus. You press tab there. Once you do kill Nautilus, it'll go back to its default behavior. So you have to open Nautilus, basically. Close, and then uh, update. And now see it's synchronizing, and there's nothing to update, so that's why it's uh, closed. So if we open Nautilus itself, <laughs> since it's what we're talking about, Nautilus Actions, there are more things. Uh, say if I wanted to open this folder, pictures or whatever, just right click on it and Nautilus Actions open as root. You can. And if it, from the desktop, if you open as root, the way it works so far is um, it opens in the actual root folder and you get this pop-up reminder. As you can probably tell, you can do almost everything. Uh, so Nautilus Actions uh, bulk rename and I downloaded K rename uh, which is uh, from KDE Linux uh, KDE and uh, the first time you install this if you don't have any KDE software on it will pull down a lot of uh, dependencies from the actual KDE distribution so uh, be prepared for that but I K rename seems to work the best uh, for me so, if you don't, haven't used this before, it's fairly simple. You can have starting index at zero and number digits two, and prefix could be like wall, and then uh, suffix could be a number. So, number, apologies for the zoom tool, it doesn't work uh, great all the time, but as it's following what I asked it to, starting index is zero, and it's two digits, so it's wall zero, zero. 0, 1 all the way down to uh, 24 and that's it so just uh, click finish and now all the wallpapers that I have here are named wall in the numbered order and uh, basically to sum this up uh, under your preferences if you don't like this uh, Nautilus actions here as the root folder you can untick this and say okay save and now it has no um, folder menu it's just backup or whatever you have redefined uh, the problem with that sometimes is when you open file manager uh, and you right click on a document or a folder you get this and it's like a lot of kind of long-winded but it that's up to you that's your choice all right so that's what it uh, basically what I use uh, Nautilus actions for um, I decided to keep using uh, Nautilus uh, since it's kind of flows with GNOME, even though it has its uh, drawbacks. Uh, if you use Nautilus and other file managers, you you know what I mean. All right, so that should do it for this one. Um, any questions or comments? So always feel free to add them. And thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.